This screencast will show you how to conduct a quick, basic search of the Cochrane Library, as well as how to browse for reviews. Both the basic search and the browse option can be used for doing quick, non-comprehensive searches for information. To run a basic search, first make sure that you're in the Search tab, here at the top. The tab that you're currently viewing will be highlighted in blue. To start searching, enter your search terms in the box here on the right. We're going to use pet therapy as an example. To the left of the search bar here, you can choose which fields you would like the database to search for your word or phrase. The default is Title Abstract Keywords, which is the recommended option. There are additional options in the drop-down menu here that you may want to use if you're searching for work by a specific author or if you already know the title of the publication you're searching for. To the left of this box is a small plus sign. Clicking on it will add additional lines to your search, as well as a Boolean operator drop-down menu. To add another concept to your search, choose the appropriate Boolean operator, OR for synonyms and AND for different concepts and then change the search all text option to title, abstract, and keywords, or the most appropriate option for what you're looking for. If you want to delete this search line, you can just click the small minus sign to the left and that line will disappear. Below the search bar here, you'll see this phrase, word variations have been searched. This means that the database automatically finds common variants for the words you enter. For example, if you searched for the word small, the database would also find smaller and smallest. The word variance function also automatically locates American and British spellings of words, non-standard plural forms such as mouse and mice, and other irregular variants such as pay and paid. If you want to turn off this feature, click here on search limits, scroll down to the bottom, and tick off the box that says word variations will not be searched, and then click on apply. Before we go ahead and run our search, one important thing to note is that Cochrane will not automatically add anything you search to your search history. If you want the database to remember what you've searched, you need to click here on Add to Search Manager. Doing this takes you over to the next tab, the Search Manager tab. We can see that our pet ther therapy search appears here at the top. To view the results for this search, click on the box on the right here that lists the number of results. Your results will be displayed below. To the left of your results here, you can filter based on the type of publication that you're looking for, such as Cochrane reviews, other reviews, trials, etc. Another way of quickly searching for information in the Cochrane Library is to use the Browse tab here at the top. You can browse Cochrane reviews by topic, by review group, you can view highlighted reviews, which are the featured reviews on the home page. And you can also view the current issue of Cochrane Reviews and Protocols. You can also browse other resources here, such as other reviews, trials, method studies, technology assessments, and economic evaluations. It's important to remember that these methods are not appropriate for comprehensive searching. They're only suitable for quick and simple searches. In my next video, I'll teach you the basics of translating a comprehensive Medline search into Cochrane. If you have any questions about the Cochrane Library, please feel free to email us at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.